In the news, INEC to conduct local government elections after National Assembly grants full autonomy. House of Representatives investigates alleged diversion of 2 trillion naira agri funds disbursed by Central Bank of Nigeria. President Julius Bayo signs prohibition of child marriage act into law. Ending sports, Super Falcons coach unveils Ajibade Oshoala, 21 others for 2024 Paris Olympics. This is the MLC TV Global News, reaching you live from the city of Lokoja, the confluent state of Nigeria. I am Joshua Adenoy. Thanks for joining us. The National Assembly has granted full financial and administrative autonomy to all the 774 local council authorities across Nigeria by amending Section 124 of the nation's constitution. The section provides a consequential provision for the making of the local councils, a full third tier of government without undue interference from the state governments. The amendment was one of the 22 others approved by the House of Representatives last week and ratified by the Senate on Tuesday. Both chambers had, through a conference committee, harmonized versions of the amendments into the Constitution carried out by each of them last month. By the development, the National Assembly had ratified all the 23 clauses and sections that had been amended by both chambers. The newly amended document, which would be sent to State House of Assembly for approval, also approved the creation of the Office of Auditor General of the Local Government as well as the State Local Government Service Commission. The section equally deleted the State Independent Electoral Commission, SIEC, from the Constitution, thereby vesting the powers to conduct council elections under Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. It, however, retained the immunity clause in the Constitution for the president and governors by adopting the Senate version of the amendment on the issue and rejected the House of Representatives version, which removed the immunity clause. The National Assembly also made provisions for the independent candidacy in future elections in Nigeria by amending sections 65 and 106 of the 1999 Constitution. The South East Governors Forum has resolved to visit President Bola Tinubu and interface with the federal government to secure the release of the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Namdi Kanu. The governors made the resolution at their meeting in Enugu, which had in attendance all the five South East Governors, Peter Mba of Enugu, Alex Oti, Abia, Professor Charles Soludo, Anambra, Francis Mwifuru, Eboyi and Hope Uzodima of Imo State. In a five-point communique jointly signed by the governors, the forum resolved to activate actionable plans with a view to implementing the report of the Southeast Security and Economic Summit held in Oweri in September last year. The forum resolved to visit President Tinubu to discuss pressing issues concerning the Southeast region and also to interface with the federal government to secure the release of Inam Dikano. The forum also expressed grievances over the death of a former Minister of Science, Technology and Innovation and the first civilian governor of Abia State, Dr. Obonaya Onu. The governor of Lagos State, Babajide Sangwolu, has unveiled 60 units of luxurious apartment at Rising Lagos Apartment and inaugurated the 144-unit mixed development project, Greater Lagos LBIC slash WGC Apartment in the Amuo or Dauphin area of Lagos State. Governor Sangwolu in a post on his ex-handle explained that the Rising Lagos Apartments located in the heart of the city would offer state-of-the-art facilities and top-notch amenities, setting a new standard for housing in the state. In June, the governor inaugurated 270 units of two-bedroom flats at the Ego Igodo Mixed Housing Estate, Igodo Ikotun Local Council Development Area of Lagos State. The House of Representatives has stated its readiness to investigate allegations of the misappropriation of over 2 trillion naira disbursed by the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, 
through its anchor borrower scheme to fund agricultural initiative across the country. The resolution of the House followed the adoption of a motion on the alleged mismanagement of government's agricultural initiatives and funding by departments, agencies, and government programs outside the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security, sponsored by Chike Okafo. Leading the debate on the floor of the House during Tuesday's plenary, Okafo, who represents Ehime Mbano Ihite Uboma Obowo Federal Constituency of Imo State, expressed worry over the grain food scarcity and malnutrition in Nigeria and the alleged mismanagement of agricultural funds meant for the development of the sector. The lawmaker further noted that in 2023, the federal government of Nigeria unveiled a 5 billion naira loan facility to the Bank of Agriculture for livestock farmers across the country. Consequently, the House mandated the Joint Committees on Nutrition and Food Security and Agricultural Production and Services, Agricultural Colleges and Institutions and Finance to conduct a comprehensive investigation into the alleged misuse of government interventions and agricultural funding by departments, agencies, schemes and programs of the federal government outside the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security and report within four weeks for further legislative actions. On crime, five men standing trials for the abduction and murder of a Fulani herder, Ibrahim Adamu, who until his death was selling cows at the Owode at the Oshun State, have been sentenced to death by hanging by an Oshun State High Court. After Adamu's abduction, he was said to have been moved into a secluded place in his Toyota Corolla car and the victim was later killed despite paying 3 million naira ransom after he identified one of the perpetrators of the crime. Arraigned before Justice Kudirat Akano of the State High Court, sitting in Ede, the charges pressed against the defendant were said to be contrary to Section 324, 319 and 364 of the Criminal Code Laws of Oshun State, but they all pleaded not guilty to the four counts pressed against them by the state. Delivering her judgment, Justice Kudirat found the five men guilty of all the counts preferred against them and accordingly sentenced them to death by hanging. We go on a short break now. We'll be right back. Malachi TV Online is here. For your timely and reliable news that reaches you fast with the breaking news, choose MLC TV. Get human interest stories right here on MLC TV. With entertainment, sports, business, culture, tourism, and fashion news stories all featured on MLC TV. Not forgetting political and current affairs news, state and federal government and people's matters will be discussed regularly on MLC TV. MLC TV, your one-stop online destination for unbiased, accurate news, entrepreneur ideas, and youth matters to the rest of the world. MLC TV, written everywhere, informing everyone. Welcome back. On the foreign scene, a deadly hurricane which has been tearing through the Southeast Caribbean is moving towards Jamaica with at least seven people being killed in Grenada, Venezuela, among others. Hurricane Berlin became the earliest storm to develop into a Category 5 hurricane in the Atlantic on Monday before weakening to a still destructive Category 4. It is expected to bring life-threatening winds and storm surge to Jamaica on Wednesday. Jamaican Prime Minister Andrew Holness says electricity and water services are likely to be shut off as a precaution to prevent fires and damage to equipment. He told residents to stock up candles or batteries and warned the people to be careful while lighting fires as it will be very difficult for firefighters to respond. 
Syria alone has brought in a new law banning child marriage with much funfair at a ceremony organized by First Lady Fatima Bayo in the capital, Freetown. Invited guests, including First Ladies from Cape Verde and Namibia, would, as her husband, President Julius Madabayo, signed the Prohibition of Child Marriage Act into law. Anyone who involves in the marriage of a girl under the age of 18 will be jailed for at least 15 years or fined around $4,000 or both. Those who face punishment under the new rules include the groom, the parents or guardians of the child bride, and even those who attended the wedding. And in sports, and in sports, world tennis player Andy Murray will play with Emma Radicano in a superstar mixed doubles partnership as part of his Wimbledon farewell. The 37-year-old Murray is playing at the championship for the final time before retiring later this year. The two-time men's singles champion decided on Tuesday he was not fit enough to play in the singles after a recent back operation. Murray will play in the men's doubles alongside older brother Jami and has now also opted to join forces with fellow Britain Raducanu in an eye-catching pairing. The mixed doubles is set to start on Friday with the first round matches also being played on Saturday. Super Falcons head coach Randy Waldrum has unveiled his squad for the Paris 2024 Women's Olympic Football Tournament. Leading the team is captain Rashidat Ajibade with key players like goalkeeper Chiamaka Ndanozie, defendant Osinachi Ohale, and forward Asisat Oshoala. The roster also features defenders Oluatosi Demehi and Mitchell Alozie, midfielders Debra Abiodun, Halimatu Ainde, Christy Uchebe, among others. And that is the size of our news package for today. Do support us by subscribing to our YouTube channel, Malakite TV. Like and follow our Facebook page, MLC TV, MLC TV2, MLC TV Yoruba, and Ebira Babe, MLC TV. Instagram, MLC TV2021, X handle, Malakite TV, and TikTok, Malakite underscore TV. For your event coverage, appearance on any of our programs, contributions, comments, advert placement, or sponsorship, please call or send SMS to any of our numbers displayed on your screen. Join Malakite TV online on weekends to watch our various programs. Every Saturday, Health Med Info by 5 p.m., 7 p.m. Political Arena, Sunday 6 p.m. Women's World, 7 p.m. Kakanchebira, Monday 9 a.m. The Opinion, and 9 p.m. Senior Citizen Alcohol. It's Malakite TV, reaching everywhere, informing everyone. Please continue to be a brother's keeper to build a happier and better society together. I am Joshua Adinoy. Thanks for watching.